Greetings, my name is Mike and welcome to the video. Today I want to show how we can mod icons and images in Dota 2. And by mod, I don't mean create custom games, but replace actual stuff that you'll see in your normal matchmaking games. Before we get started, I strongly recommend checking out my other video that I made on the general modding process, because I might skip over a few of those things here, because this is going to be specific to modding images. So do check that out. And there are also a few requirements that we need before carrying on. The first is a bit of patience, because it can be a bit of a tricky and tedious process, but once you've done it a few times, you'll see that it's actually not so bad. The next is a little program called Valve Resource Viewer. Just make sure you download the GUI file over here, and you can extract it somewhere. For example, I have a folder on my desktop that's called Modding, and I've got all the stuff in here. This file, by the way, VPK Creator, is also a requirement, but that's from the other video that I mentioned, so just make sure you have this downloaded as well. And I have extracted the GUI file to this folder over here. And the last requirement is that you need to have the Dota 2 Workshop tools installed. You don't need any experience working with them, but you do need it on your computer. So to do that, you can just open Steam, click on Dota 2, and go to Settings and Properties. There's a DLC tab over here, and make sure you have Workshop Tools DLC ticked like that. If it's the first time you're ticking it, it will go and download in the background, so just wait for that to finish. Once that's done, you're pretty much good to go, and you can start with the actual modding. So, the first main part of the modding process is to find the original file that you want to replace. And you'll know this if you watched my other video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the GUI uh, program and open the Valve Resource Viewer here just by double clicking. And you'll get something like this. Next, you just go to Open over here. And you need to go to your Dota 2 installation folder. Right, mine I've got pinned over here. But it should be something like C, uh, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dota 2 Beta, something like that. Once you've found it, you can open Game, Dota, and scroll all the way to the bottom, and there will be a pack01 underscore dir.vpk file. Go ahead and double click that, and it will open up. Uh, just give it a second or two, because it is a lot of stuff to load. Alright, and once it's done, you'll be presented with a screen like this, which has a whole bunch of content, like files and folders, on the left-hand side. And this is basically the game's content that it's showing you, right? All the, the assets that it needs. Now, the main task that we need here, that we need to do here, is to find the file that we want to replace. For demo purposes, I'm going to be replacing the icon of Earthshaker's Ultimate to be the Arcana one, because I don't own the Arcana, and I thought it would be cool to show that off. So that's what I'm going to be doing. The, for images, the, the folder we're going to be looking at is inside Panorama and Images, right? If you expand it, you'll see there's a lot of stuff in there. But I have tested it for some stuff in Panorama Images, and that works. Stuff that is not in this folder, you might find you have different results or bad results because it, the process could be different. For example, if you try to do particles, it won't work because it's a different process entirely. So just uh, have that in mind. Now, for example, if you're wanting to mod the icons for items, in Panorama Images, there is a Items folder. Where is it? There. Right, so this has all the icons for all the items. And there's also a Spell Icons one, which is what I'm going to be working in. And you'll see once you click it, it loads up a whole lot of folders here. Now, don't, don't get tricked, because these folders have the custom icons for abilities, like Arcanas and stuff are in here. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see that all the normal icons are below that, just as files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll to Earthshaker, because that's what I want to mod. And we have Earthshaker, Echo Slam, PNG, VTEC, C. <laughs> Lovely names, right? But that is what we want to replace. And I can double click, and it will show us what it looks like, so we can be sure that, yes, that is the file. Now, I also strongly recommend double clicking so you can see, but also so you can go to the Data tab and take note of the width and the height, right? This image is 128 by 128 pixels. And if you are looking to create your own one from scratch, it's probably a good idea to make the new one with these dimensions as well, just to avoid any weirdness like resizing and stuff within the game. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to be making my own icon. I'm going to be reusing the Arcana one. So I'm going to go up to the Earthshaker folder. And inside there, there is Earthshaker Arcana. Open that. And over here, we have Earthshaker Echo Slam Alt 2. Right, this is the one I'm going to be replacing the old one with. So you can, again, double click, and you'll see that, yes, this is a different icon, and it's the Arcana, and that's the one I'm going to use. 
So I don't need to worry about resizing it because it's already 128 by 128. Again, if you wanted to make your own, just make sure you follow the dimensions. Anyway, you can right click and you can say save as. I'm going to be basically extracting this file from the VPK. So I'm going to save it as and I'm going to go to my desktop folder, Dota modding, and I'm just going to save it straight in there. Now, if you watched my other video, you'll be familiar with the concept of creating a file with the same name in the same folder to mod it, right? So if I go back to my original uh, Earthshaker icon that I want to replace, right? Scroll down to the normal boring icon. Earthshaker Echo Slam, right? So to mod this, I have to create a new file with the same name and in the same folder. But the problem is that it's not a normal PNG file. It's a .vtech-c file, which is basically Valve's compiled version of converting a PNG into this vtech-c thing that the game can actually understand. If you just put a normal PNG in your modded VPK, it's not going to do anything because the game doesn't recognize it. That is where the sort of tricky part comes in, is creating this vtex file from a PNG, which I'm going to show you now. So just take note that you can't put a normal PNG inside, right? But again, what you should note here is the exact path that this is in, right? It's in panorama, images, spell icons, and then this exact name, right? You need to have everything exact, so write it down somewhere just so you remember. But I'm actually done inside this, so I can close it, and I'll go back to my modding folder. And here we have that, the Arcano one that he extracted, just to make sure that that is exactly what it looks like. So this is the one I want to replace it with, or you could have your own custom one here as well. And just for clarity, I'm going to rename this icon just so it's clear for us. Custom Echo Slam dot PNG, right? The name doesn't matter at this stage, but just make it something that is clear to you. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is open up the workshop tools. Again, you don't need any experience with it, so don't worry. I'll show you what you need to know. But you can do that by opening Steam, and you double-click Dota 2, and it will ask what you want to launch. Click on the tools, and you'll have a window that looks like this, and I can just close Steam. Right, what you need to do is click Create New Add-on over here. Just give it a name that you will remember for your add-on. It doesn't really matter because it's not going to show in-game, but it's just for your own clarity. So I'm going to just call it Perpig, like that. Click Create, and it will show in the list over here now, and that's fine. We don't need to launch it yet, I'm just going to leave it like this, and I'm going to go back to my modding folder. Now I need to copy this PNG file and go to my Dota 2 installation folder again. Inside here there's a content folder that you should go into and then Dota add-ons. Finally there should be a folder already here for your add-on, so you can open that. And now this is the content for your add-on. So what we need to do is create a new folder, Panorama. If it's already there, it's fine, just open it, but I don't think it will be. Panorama, inside there, images, and inside there you can paste your file that you want to convert. Now comes the really annoying part, because we have to create a text file. We do that, just right click and say new. Before we do that, I recommend um, going here to view, and tick file name extensions, right? And you go new, text document, and you can call it anything, but I'm just going to say images and not .txt, but .xml, like that. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, I am. So we'll have an empty file that's like that now. Now you need to open it. You can use any text editor you want, like normal Notepad or anything. I like to use Notepad++ because it's a cool little app. But again, normal Notepad will work fine. So just open it in a text editor. And here we have to type a bit of text, which is a bit annoying. I will put it in the description so you can sort of copy the template that you need. And here is the part where you need to put in the name of that PNG file that you want to convert. Mine was custom echo slam dot PNG, right? Everything must be exactly the same custom echo slam dot png right and if you had other images that you wanted to convert you can just rep uh, copy paste this image line as many times as you need to and remember to just change the part after the slash to be the correct image name like that since i've only got one though i'm just going to do a single line like that and remember to save the file once you've done that now if we go back to the file explorer we'll have again our png and the images file over here 
The next step is to open again this workshop tools thing and you can double click on Perpeg or whatever your name is in the list there. And it will go and open up the workshop tools and it will open up Dota as well. So just wait a bit for that to finish loading. Alright, so when it's done loading it will have opened up Dota like this in a little window. We can just minimize it because we don't need it. Um, but the important part is that we have this asset browser window. I know it's a bit crazy, don't worry about what's going on in here. The important thing is that we have a search box over here. It says name filter and then you can type stuff. What you need to type in here is the name of the XML file you created. But instead of .xml you say .vxml. Mine was images and .vxml like that. And you should have one appearing in the list. If I type just images.xml, there's nothing. So make sure you type .vxml. Now what you need to do is just right click this file that shows up and you say full recompile. <laughs> that nothing really exciting happens, it's a bit of a letdown, but you just do need to make sure you do that. Now I can just minimize this because we're pretty much done with the workshop tools and back to the explorer. Now I'm going to go back to the Dota 2 installation folder and instead of content I go into game Dota add-ons and there should again be a folder here for your add-on. Open that Go to panorama images and then look at that we now have a vtech c version of our png file right which is pretty cool it's also done something weird with the xml file but you can literally delete that and ignore it it's fine all that you need is this the vtech c for all of your icons if you added multiple uh, lines into that xml file you'll have all of your icons appear here but since i only did one i just have one of them now again i'm going to copy this file and go back to the modding folder on my desktop where we are working in here. If you're familiar with my other video, you will know how to build the VPK file. So you go into this pack 01 dir folder. And in here, we need to recreate the folder structure. So I can say panorama, uh, if I can spell, images, spell icons. And then just paste the VTEC C file in here. Now you must remember that the file must be named exactly the same as the original in order to replace it. So the original is Earthshaker Echo Slam PNG VTEC C like that. Cool, we are almost done. <laughs> Just need to go back to the modding folder and you run the merge mods file and it will spit out pack 01 dir VPK, which is our little mods VPK. Again, copy this file. Now we need to go back to the Dota 2 installation folder inside there, open game. And again, as my previous video mentioned, we need to create a folder in here for our add-on. Um, in there, just paste that VPK file that we created. The final step is to go back into the game folder and into Dota. And here we need to edit gameinfo.gi, just open it in any text editor and scroll down and you'll remember that we need to create a new line in here above game dota that is game and then the name of the add-on like that save that file and then we are all good to go we can test that the mod is working in the actual game first though i just want to close dota because it needs to restart and you can close the workshop tools as well let's fire up dota and give it a test all right it's finished loading uh we can go heroes don't mind offline mode, by the way, I have internet problems, that's not really important. I'm going to open Earthshaker and look at that. We have a custom Echo Slam icon, which is pretty awesome. I can go and demo it out, but remember, we only changed the icon, so the sounds and stuff will still be the same as the normal one. Uh, maybe that's a different topic for another video. But here we go. Again, if I just level up a bit. We can see that we have a custom Echo Slam icon over here, which is nice and awesome. Again, you can do the same for the other three icons. It's the exact same process of converting the PNGs and stuff. I just did one for the sake of time. But anyway, that's all I've got for this video. Hope it was useful and hope you learned something. I will be making videos of the other file types like sounds and ticks and things like that. So stick around if you're interested in that. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and cheers for now.